100 days of Ming Comics round three, week three. <laughs> Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. Welcome, mad creators, to the underground laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. What other threats could those be? How about werewolves and unicorns? Because that is the subject of the 100 Days of Ming Comics Anthology number two. And werewolves and unicorns and other mythical creatures. That's the theme of this second uh, outing in the 100 Days Anthology series. So if you're not familiar, if you tuned into this and you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, well, 100 Days of Ming Comics is a challenge. It's an art challenge created by Kevin Cross where you create, for 100 days straight, you work on your comic book project, for 30 minutes a day, every day, for that 100 days. And uh, you also blog about it, or vlog about it, or post on social media about it, just to hold yourself accountable. Let other people know that you're doing the challenge, and they can kind of help you along. It's a great community of artists and writers, creatives, and people that genuinely love comics, love making comics, and uh, if you're thinking about taking that challenge, I would highly uh, encourage you to do so. Um, and you can go to the 100 Days of Main Comics Facebook page. I Hopefully I will leave a link in the description of this video so you can check that out and hopefully get on with the challenge. Now if you have completed the challenge, then you're eligible to be in one of these anthology projects. That, that is pretty much the, the main prerequisite is that you have completed the challenge. And other than that, um, it doesn't matter kind of where your skill level is, what you're doing or whatever. The only thing that matters is that you can deliver, that you can you can ship something, that you can create a comic, that you can, you know, follow the challenge. Um, and I, actually, I mean, I don't even know necessarily that you have to have a finished comic at the end of those 100 days of making comics. The idea is that get you in the habit of continuing to, you know, create on a daily basis. So that's what the challenge and the anthology are all about. But uh, so where am I with this challenge? So I am three weeks in. And uh, so what have I been working on? Well, a lot of things, uh, little bits and pieces here and there. But the one thing that I've got here is a script. Now you may be thinking to yourself, wow, man, this guy's been going three weeks and he just now completed the script. Well, that's not totally the case because in the beginning, I wasn't even planning on writing the script because I am adapting a song um, so most of it is just the lyrics, but as I was writing, I decided, you know, there's there's some things I want to add to it, and I'll get into that a little bit as I talk about uh, this third week uh, in the uh, in the challenge and what I'm doing and everything. Um, but yeah, so that was something I wasn't really expecting to do, but I'm glad I did it. But I've been looking forward to actually working on some actual pages, the finished pages, and we're still a little ways from that. But uh, anyway, let's talk about that and uh, I'll kind of share what I've been doing. So this is week three, and just to kind of recap where I've been, uh, kind of the journey up until this point, the past couple weeks, um, what have I done? So. Again, there wasn't a lot of scripting involved because I'm kind of I'm adapting this uh, this, this police song, uh, Synchronicity Two, to be specific. Um, so I've done some I've done some thumbnails, some rough sketching. Uh, did a little bit of like diff I'm designing some of the characters, which I'm continuing to do. That's kind of what you're seeing right now. Um, also, I did some creature designs. And uh, then I, I took another pass at thumbnailing to just kind of get make sure my panels and everything are okay. Um, so those are cool. So that's something I really wanted to get to this week is, is starting to actually lay out those panels. I'm still working on some of the... I don't know if these are necessarily character... Part of these, what I'm doing now, is character design, but it's also just... It's also kind of the poses. So hopefully a lot of these sketches that I'm doing right now, I can use those as roughs. And I, now that I'm I'm planning on working digital, and uh, and another big thing I'm going to try to do is is work in Clip Studio Pro, or Clip... Is it Clip Studio Paint? Clip Studio Paint. I'm confused because it used to be Manga Studio back when I got it. <laughs> it's just kind of been sitting there gathering dust. I, I use it from time to time just to do certain things. Like I used it to create some speed lines for my for my uh, Comic Maker Starter Kit, which if you guys are interested, you can get that at CircWorks.com. And actually, I'm using uh, one of the brushes on my Starter Kit I'm using to do this right now. So it's got brushes, it's got fonts, it's got templates. 
word balloons, uh, character design templates, and all kinds of cool stuff. So, And it's free. It's available at my website at circworks.com if you want that. Uh, just go there and, and get that, and, and all you have to do is sign up for the mailing list, and there's also a bunch of other cool free stuff that you will get with that mailing list. Like I think the last mailing list I sent out, I, uh, I also included this little digital uh, avatar pack where you can build your own zombie avatars. So it kind of pays to be part of that, uh, that newsletter because I'm kind of using it like a Patreon. Um, eventually I do want to do a Patreon, but I want to get, get, I want to kind of test, you know, test the waters and get my feet wet doing this uh, newsletter and kind of run it like a Patreon where I'm adding extra value. There's, there's exclusive videos and all this stuff. Um, but anyway, this is, I, I didn't mean to make this a commercial for that. Um, but it is comics related, and I think it will help you guys if you're if you're looking to do comics. There's just a ton of stuff there. But anyway, so so right now, a lot of these sketches that I'm doing, I'm hoping that I can take those and and just kind of through the magic of digital, which is which is I'm getting more and more familiar with it because I've always done all my sketching traditionally. So I do like the fact that you know I can I can you know enlarge things and flip things pretty easy and everything. So I'm getting the hang of it. So Hopefully by the end of this, I'll get a little more, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be so familiar with the digital sketching part that um, that's, that might be the way I move forward as far as, as comic books, at least the penciling stage. I still, I'm still pretty, you know, pretty adamant about uh, inking dig or traditionally. I just think for my purposes, I think it, it works a lot better. But I do want to start doing all that penciling. So, so anyway, this this sketch that I'm working right now is a sketch of the mother character. And if you read the lyrics to the song, you kind of see that she's, you know, she's frustrated, so she's throwing up her hands. And um, but one thing that I realized, um, and this goes into the script that I'm working on, is that. I, I didn't think that I would really need a script, and there's not a lot to the script that I'm doing. Um, but I am I am adapting a song, and because of that, I can't actually use the lyrics to the song because I don't own the copyright to the song. Um, so I can't use any of those lyrics. But there's certain things going on that you know I can I can kind of interpret, and I want to actually add some dialogue. But I don't know that I'm going to put in any like word balloons or anything like that. Um, because I don't want, I don't, the dialogue that I'm writing, I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be the main crux of the story. I don't want you to, like you're following the dialogue along because it's not really that important. It's just to give an idea that something's going on, almost like a sound effect or something in the background. So there probably won't be word balloons, but I did, I did um, kind of take a pass at the script. And so basically what I did was I just uh, copied and pasted the lyrics and it's almost like liner notes. I went through and broke the lyrics up, and and I probably maybe I should have showed some of this what I'm talking about here, but it might be a little boring. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you'd probably like to see drawing a little better. But anyway, so so I pasted the the lyrics to the song um, in a, you know like a word document, and then I just kind of went through and after each. You know, I didn't even indicate what panels or anything because I've already, if I was presenting this to somebody else to draw, then I might do that. But I've already broken up the panels and I know what's going on. So for me, it's it's just taking that song and then just adding, like I said, little liner notes here and there on, oh, so the, this is what's happening in the song. This is kind of what I want to be happening in the background. So there's the part where uh, grandmother is screaming at the wall. And I just sort of wrote this, this dialogue of her is kind of rattling on about how she thinks uh, her pills are being poisoned or laced with something and the, the mother character is doing that because I kind of, I'm interpreting the grandmother is probably the grandmother of the daddy character, not not the mother. So this, so, and the, you get the idea that she doesn't really like the mother and all this time and that she should have never married. And it's, it's not, again, it's not important, but it, but it's, it's, it's to give a glimpse of that character and kind of the scene to let everyone know that, oh, this is, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in this household that's probably not that healthy. So, um, so there's that and then the mother kind of giving a little bit of her, and I don't know how much of this you're going to actually see because I'm, I'm thinking of like placing it behind the characters in the panel. So you're just going to get little dot, little like just snippets of the conversation and it's, well, it's not really a conversation because it's just, 
basically people yelling and <laughs> no one responding. But so that's the idea. So I went through with that. And also I added all the sound effects. You know, there's some different sound effects in there. So there is, you know, as much as I like the idea of doing a story all pantomime, I love sound effects and onomatopoeia and all that kind of stuff. So I want to have some of that in there because I think that's a big part of comics. And, uh, and I just, I love the lettering and, and doing all that kind of stuff too. So, and also um, just to give a little glimpse of an, introduction to like basically when we zoom in on the suburban home it's gonna it'll say like the suburbs and then it'll have a time like you know 6 34 a.m and then each part of that day it'll you get the idea that you're a little further along in the day which is something different than what i i mean and this isn't anything new but for whatever reason like my comic book young and the dead my kids versus zombie comic story i i opted not to have any of that and i don't I'm not really sure exactly why. I think because I didn't want you to know, ex I wanted you to know with that story that it took place in the 80s, but I didn't want you to know exactly when, exactly what year, all that kind of stuff. So I didn't really say 1986, this, or, or whatever, whatever the year, or anything like that. So in that comic, there's no, there's, there's no caption boxes or anything like that telling you exactly where we are or anything. Um, and there's some certain flashbacks things, flashbacks and things that I didn't want you to know. So I, did, I made it a point, I didn't want you to know in the beginning that there were flashbacks. So, um, so I just opted not to give any of that information out there. So it's a little different than what I'm doing right now. Um, so with this one, I'm, I'm telling you the time because it all takes place in the span of a day in the life of this, this daddy character. So I do kind of let you know where we are in, the, in throughout the day as far as the time and where they're at and everything. So yeah, I just went through and added that. So there is a little bit of scripting there, but not a whole lot. Um, and anyway, so what you're seeing, I've got just right now, again, that was a, a drawing I just did or a sketch I just did of, of daddy getting out of the car, heading home and everything. Now I'm doing some uh, more like character design and getting some ideas for some of the the characters that actually work in the offices, his his so-called superiors, as is mentioned in the song. Um, there'll be like a boardroom meeting and everything. So I'm just doing you know some designs of some of those characters, and um, and but again my my goal is that I'll be able to take some of these sketches and maybe just drop them in to the. Um, Clip Studio Pro or Paint file, and um, and work from there. Assuming you know, <laughs> I've, I've been taking some. I've been. Oh, and this is another thing. Uh, you guys, I know a lot of you use Clip Studio. Um, I could use any help that you guys. If you guys have any uh, tips or anything with Clip Studio, or you know where I can go get good uh, tutorials on the program. Because it's weird, I've been having some problems um, with that. I've uh, I went to you know I, I start I started you know working in the program. I started dropping some of these you know or actually and you'll see I've recorded some of it, but um, taking taking and doing the panels and everything in Clip Studio and we'll get there in a minute. But um, but I had some some real problems finding like even page setup because I'm finding stuff from back. I've got version five something. It's probably some kind of update. So I found some version four stuff and the stuff that they're, you know, when it's showing how to set up, a lot of those options aren't even in there. And even with the, even with, then I click Clip Studio version five, you know, page setup or du specifically double page setup um, because both of these are gonna be double pages. And I found some on setting up a double page spread, but they're like showing me options again that aren't even aren't even available and it's like things have changed and I don't know if it's if I've got an update or what like I, I assume because five's been out for a while I don't think six is out but I, they must have like 5.5 or something like that but whatever version I have the tutorials just do not match so there's certain things they show they they're showing in these tutorials saying go here do this um, so if any of you guys uh, have have any, if you could send me a link or, or just let me know if there's any, if anyone's doing some more recent stuff, but I kind of need to, I kind of need a course and it may get to the point where maybe I have to pay for a course. I've had in the past, um, when I had the, the, the illustration day job, we had a, um, 
a lynda.com account and there was a, a course by Doug Hills who does a lot, I mean he has, he has he's, I'm watching a course that he did um, right now on YouTube but he had like a pay course so it was a little more in depth and I think it was a little newer but I've since forgotten that I don't have access to Linda anymore so um, or I think LinkedIn Learning it's called now but anyway as you can see now that's kind of what I'm doing is um, is uh, working in Clip Studio so I kind of just messed around and I maybe that's the way I'm gonna have to learn this thing is just messing around but I'd rather like look at some you know watch some tutorials and things like that but so I am just laying out the panels and everything I just scanned in my thumbnails blew them up and uh, just getting those panels laid out but like to give you an idea of one of the problems that I had I had to set up a um, six page story because the way the pages are paginated you've you know, typically with a comic book, you've got one facing page, and then you turn it, and then you've got a spread, and then another spread, and then the last page is a single page again. But it doesn't seem like, I couldn't find an option just to do two spreads, because the problem with this is, and I know that's the way most comics are, but when you're contributing to a larger, a larger anthology in this case, I'm not the one doing those other pages. All I need is those two spreads, but I couldn't figure out how to lay it out like that. So, so I've got two, basically two blank pages that, uh, you know, serve really no purpose for me. Um, so I couldn't figure out a way to get around that, but it's just different things like that. And that's the way, that's always the way it is with the new software. And it's, it, it's not, it's not like it's, I mean, it's similar to Photoshop. So, so I mean, there's certain tools that I say, oh yeah, that's, that's how that should work. But it's still different enough and you know I know certain softwares but I'm not the kind of person that likes to learn all these different softwares I kind of like stick with what I know but I know this is a great program so I really do want to learn it and I know it's got so many cool you know features that are really gonna help me in, in comic book creation so so I'm gonna give it a shot and this is something I've been saying forever so hopefully this will this will be the time and I think I think a separate comic from Young and the Dead is something is a perfect opportunity for me to kind of experiment with the new software and everything like that and basically learn because sometimes the best way to learn something is is by using it for a project um, so so that's pretty cool so anyway so yeah I'm just laying out um, laid out the panels and there's some things with the panels I don't quite understand yet as far as how to break out of the panels and like you can see uh, you can see where one panel you can see the other panel behind it I was kind of hoping that that would go away for when I start sketching but but you know I'll fig I'll figure all that out hopefully as I go and hopefully I'll find some more tutorials and everything but yeah so so I'm happy I'm I'm happy that I'm kind of learning this and everything and uh, so we'll see moving forward how hopefully I'll get more familiar with this software and it'll be a thing that I use but that about does it for week three and I'll just leave you with some of these character design poses all right, so that is where I am at the end of the third week in the challenge, and I, I think it's going pretty well. I, I do. I wish I was a little further along as far as the drawing, but that's just because everyone wants to get to that drawing. But but you got to do all this other stuff first, or else uh, maybe the drawings don't turn out so good. So a little bit of planning, but not get too crazy, not to get too bogged down in that planning because um, that's sort of a recipe for just continuously not actually getting to the work. So um, it's sort of a balancing act. But anyway, um, yeah, that's where I am, and uh, I don't know, are you guys working on, are you guys doing the challenge, are you in the anthology? I know a lot of you guys are, we got a big, big uh, lineup this time around, and uh, I'm looking forward, and I've been watching some other videos, seeing what other people are doing, and man, this is going to be an incredible book, so I'm really happy to be part of it, so if you are part of it, let me know in the comments section. If you're thinking about doing the challenge, uh, let me know in the comments section. I will see you guys later, that is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at Circworks on social media. Do you like making comics? Then go to Circworks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.